Alright guys and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is Mod Showcase episode 31 and in this episode I will be showcasing the DKS-501 sniper rifle. The mod author for this mod is LT underscore commander and this will add the iconic sniper rifle from Fallout 1, Fallout 2 and Fallout 3. It will be added to the leveled lists for vendors, raiders and gunners and it will show up around level 25. However, he has added a unique variant of the sniper rifle. It is the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle from Fallout New Vegas, and it can be found in a master lock chest in a small house outside Natick Banks. So guys, let's go see the small house and find the chest. Guys, this here will be the house you're looking for, and inside it you will be able to find the chest. Okay, this here will be the Gobi Campaign Scout, uh, scout Rifle. Looks pretty cool. You will also get military fatigues and off to Vegas. Which we can't actually read, we have to take it first. Okay guys, so that's a unique chest which gives some uh, insight as to why the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle is in the Commonwealth. But I saw a Deathclaw up the hills there that I want to go and test this weapon against. Bloody hell, it looks huge. Okay, right, he's actually quite highly leveled. I have not thought this one through at all. Oh shit, right. Uh, I'll probably die here, so... Oh shit, the bed, right. Where'd you go? Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. This isn't going to be good. Yep. How the... Fuck, would you piss off, will you? Yeah, so, uh, this weapon's strong. But, whenever you're fighting things like this, it will not provide enough damage. But, let's get back to Sanctuary and see what weapon mods are available. Okay, so here we are at the workbench in Sanctuary. And the first mods that I'm going to be checking are the receivers. And you can see that we can actually change the ammunition. So you can have 38, 38 armor piercing. You know, it's just standard armor piercing receivers. To calibrate it, you can actually modify it to have a 50 caliber, 50 caliber armor piercing. That, that's really all there is. So there is some customization for the receivers. However, the damage output isn't exactly the highest. There are there will be other mods that provide stronger weapons. You can have a sawed off barrel, which looks different. Scout barrel, a long barrel, or a long ported barrel. Have a mech shift stock, a wooden stock, marksman or a recoil compensating. Different magazines from small, medium and large. Different scope, you can have mech shift, glow sights, uh, mech shift reflex sights, dot sights, recon scopes, basic scopes for the sniper rifle. You can add different muzzles, you can take off the muzzle, add a bayonet, compensator, muzzle brake or suppressor. And you can have different colours for the weapon. Standard and ballistic fibre weave. And that reduces the weight of the the weapon, so we can see that the mod actually has a, a good level of customization. We have already killed one death claw and found that this weapon would not be matched for taking out targets of that level and strength. But let's go see how it performs against some raiders. Okay, so we've come to thicket excavations. Let's see how this weapon will perform against raiders. It's incredibly powerful, I'll give it that, and it does take them out in one hit. Of course that guy, we were not in a sneak mode, so we weren't getting any form of multiplier. However, the higher the level of raider, the less damage you are doing to them, so you may need more than one shot. And for a waster, you know, three shots just isn't good enough really. Bloody hell, my accuracy is fucking shocking. 
This is unbelievable. I I don't know what the hell's going on with me today. So he was shooting at me, yet he still didn't know where I was. This is very good in combat. It's accurate. Uh, however, I'm not accurate. It's actually, you know, I always used the Go Bay campaign scout rifle in Fallout New Vegas, and I liked it a lot. And seeing it back in Fallout 4 is quite nice. The hip fire accuracy is incredibly good. That's going to be incredibly useful for whenever a target gets too close to you. And the range potential is incredibly good. So for the later levels, this weapon will outperform the hunting rifle. However, it does not outperform some of the sniper rifles that I have used before. Such as the Barrett 50 caliber. So if you are wanting to use more of a challenging weapon, you know, in terms of if you don't want the weapon doing 700 damage, you may just want to add the 50 caliber receiver to this weapon. Bloody, right, my accuracy is shocking to do. No, just stand still. Don't worry, you'll probably still survive. No need to run. This weapon is actually really enjoyable to use. I don't usually use sniper rifles, and whenever you hit the boy in the head, it's usually taking them down in one or two shots, and with the accuracy, that is quite an easy thing to do. Uh, however, in saying that, I'm not finding it that easy. For some reason, this boy's level 14. And I missed! Again! Fucking hell. This is unreal. That was the legendary raider in one shot to the head. Uh, he transformed or whatever they call it. Dogs are also quickly eliminated. And that is just, that's fucking disgusting, oh my god. I hate having to shoot dogs in this game, but... Oh, it's fucking... He was also quickly eliminated. The range potential and the, or the the long range and close range potential of this weapon are somewhat unmatched by the uh, hunting rifle. Never in a million years would the hunting rifle be this effective. And this is only using 308 rounds as well. So if you do have a, a lack of 50 caliber rounds, you can actually still use this weapon and be quite effective. However, I would probably say it would be much better with uh, 50 caliber ammunition. She is one of the luckiest people alive. She's standing still and I still can't fucking hit her. Unbelievable. And here's the last guy. Incredibly easy weapon to use, however I struggled. Alright guys, this was the DKS. Dash 501 sniper rifle mod for Fallout 4. I would highly recommend you download it as it adds a very unique looking sniper rifle. One that has been in the Fallout universe before. It's enjoyable to use and it's very, very effective. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.